Hello, in this video we're going to go over uh, how to make a video using Jez. So I'm going to start off this uh, this new module uh, in Jez and then we're going to move on into using PyCharm and to uh, figure out how to do these these videos. But I want to start off with an example, very first example in, in the book. I want, just wanted to explain what's going on here. All right, so in the book, uh, program 170 and page 387 is how to create a movie, right? So basically, they, they use a, a uh, Python function, what we can see as a Python function to create a movie. And uh, first thing they do is uh, create the function uh, make a rectangle movie or make a rect movie. And then use a, a call a argument called directory. So um, something that you uh, with with Jez, it's it's it has a lot of uh, guardrails, right? And uh, it's it's uh, exactly what it's called. It's the Jython environment for students, right? So it it doesn't give you a lot of room to mess up, but it also uh, provides a whole bunch of built-in libraries and directories that you'd otherwise have to import into uh, your instance of Python. So what we're going to do here is just sort of look over Jez's, um, uh, Jez's, uh, what Jez has built in. So we're going to go ahead and um, uh, make, uh, make that function and then uh, make the function make rectangle rectangle movie and in it it uses a for loop and a variable called number uh, so for a number in the range uh, 1 through 30 uh, it wants you to um, create a another variable named canvas and then in canvas you want to uh, use a a uh, function called make an empty picture, right? So we'll make an empty picture, and you want to make it uh, three hundred pixels by two hundred pixels, and then uh, we want the rectangle. We want to create uh, the rectangle, and we want it to fill it. Um, using that using the arguments inside of the arguments for this for this uh, method is calling you use the variable canvas that you made here and then uh, you have the number set the coordinates for the for the rectangle and then you're going to make it red all right and so here you were creating the instance of the, of the rectangle object, all right? And uh, so here we're going to uh, con reconvert the number, the, the number variable here that we called up in the for loop, convert it back into a string. So again, string. And then uh, we're going to make an if statement. If number is less than 10, then we're going to write a picture too. And again, one of the built-in functions in Jez canvas directory, and then uh, backslash frame zero. And then we're going to basically use that number that we called here to create a frame number. And then we're going to uh, call number string plus dot JPEG. So this is a very manual process that we're, we're, we're doing here. Uh, so basically, you know, with everything we're going to do with pictures and videos in either Jython or in PyCharm, we have to know how to manipulate directories. 
and uh, and file databases. So what we've done here is we've you know called up the directory and uh, whatever whatever file uh, file folder this is uh, this this instance of Jez is, is saved in. It's going to save uh, a frame and then add the number string. So it's going to say frame zero, and in this case, we zero one through through nine, and it will say and it'll save it as dot jpeg. So frame zero one through nine be dot jpeg, right? And um, so what if the number is greater than than 10. So if number is uh, greater than or equal to 10, then we want to write picture to uh, canvas directory uh, plus double black sass frame. And then we want to say, uh, Plus number string um, dot jpeg, right? Again, close parentheses, and so that solves. You know, after ten or after nine, it will be frame zero nine, then frame one zero one one onward, right? And then uh, we want to say uh, after this, we want to. Uh, we want the movie, so we're going to get out of the if loop and the for loop. We want to say movie, or x sorry, outside of uh, yeah, the for loop. So move this back a little bit more. So now it's, again, that is forgiving <laughs> as uh, as uh, pie charmids, and you want to make movie from initial file directory and then plus frame zero zero dot jpeg and then we want it to return we want the function return the variable movie And uh, so let's review what we what we did here. We created a function and named it make uh, rect movie or rectangle movie. And one of the arguments in that function is directory, pass the, the variable directory. For and then we create a for loop and it says for a number, variable number in range uh, one through thirty. So that's the range. Canvas, we created a variable canvas to make empty pictures, a preset, uh, a built in uh, method, make empty picture. That's a 300 by 200 picture, uh, 300 by 200 pixel picture. And then we used another uh, preset method to uh, move the rectangle around this canvas. Uh, by 10 pixels by 5 pixels, starting off at grid 50-50. And again, it's just like uh, in uh, the Tinkert um, uh, uh, modules where the, the pixels start off on the top left-hand corner from the origin, moving on out, all right? And so we we created that that rectangle. It's going to iterate and um, iterate and move the rectangle across the across the the, the pictures uh, across um, the J, new JPEGs every single time, making uh, sort of a movie like a flipbook movie. Um, and we we're going to save these these uh, pictures using a particular nomenclature, we're calling it frame 
uh, uh, flame zero plus number string uh, plus dot JPEG, right? And on onward, I already explained this piece right here. And here we initialized, uh, we initialized the make a movie from initial file. And uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, call the directory and plus the frame number, jimble all that into a variable, and we're going to return that variable. And uh, something I just noticed is I've got the i in an initial file uh, because this is supposed to be a built-in uh, function or built-in method inside of Jazz. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, load the program. Yeah, so we'd like to load the program. And let's go ahead and, and uh, save this under uh, first movie. Dot .py. And I want to save this as a py file. And here we want to type in uh, a command that will load the will load the, the program by calling up the function uh, that we created here, and uh, we're going to type in the directory that we want to drop it in. So um, we're going to I've created a a folder in my C drive that is located called tempt and then I have another folder that is named rect. So here I have a temp folder inside my C drive and then a no folder within the temp folder to uh, that's named rect. Right? That's where it's going to drop all of the pictures. And so let's go ahead and run this. And if we open up the rec folder, it has all the picture frames. So it's drawing starting at uh, the top left hand corner. And then slowly the red rectangle that we called up here, starting at pixel 50 50, moves slowly across the, the screen. So uh, let's go ahead and let's view that movie. So let's play the movie and then uh, play the movie correct them. And here we have, again, let's play this movie again. The red, red rectangle moving from top left to bottom right. So that was a very uh, basic tutorial about how to make a movie on Jez and what exactly is going on inside of the computer, inside of the script when you're making a movie. Uh, but um, I want to show you guys how to make, or not necessarily make a movie, but how to manipulate uh, images inside of uh, PyCharm like we've been doing for the past you know couple months is use PyCharm to actually manipulate images and uh, what libraries are available and how do you install those libraries and what other um, what other directors do you need to know or or not directories, what other libraries do you need to know uh, about to uh, manipulate directories and manipulate uh, images in Python to make practical use of uh, all the powers uh, that Python has available to you at your fingertips. So hopefully, hopefully that was useful, and I'll talk to you guys later.